Welcome to People. I'm Shirley Lin. Today, I have a very special guest in the studio with me today, and that is Isaac Hu, who's a busking juggler, but a famous one here in Taipei. He started off in Ximinding, a very crowded, young people, attractive place, and he was there, you know, juggling and doing his incredible performance for four years before he moved to a more upscale area, the Xinzhu district. Oh, I'm sorry, the uh, Xinyi district. That's right. Well, anyway, let's welcome Isaac. Hi, Isaac. Hello. Hello. So when was the first time you came to Taiwan? You said about eight years ago, right? The first time I came, I came to Taiwan oh. when I was two, actually. Oh, okay. And again, when I was seven. Yeah. But then the first time I came by myself was uh, about 12 years ago. Mm. I was 19. All right, all right. That's very young to be on your own and everything. But uh, what was your childhood like? You are a very active person, you know, into acrobatic acts and, you know, a very daring kind of boy when you grew up? Because um, that, that's my impression of someone with what you're doing now. No, I think I was, uh, I was active when I was growing up, but I wasn't particularly... Um, through my, my, when I was a small child, I wasn't particularly daring. I think I kind of, I was afraid of a lot of things. Really? And then I think because I was afraid of a lot of things, at some point when I was becoming a teenager, I decided I would try to do a lot of things which I was afraid of. Yeah? Physically, at least. Yeah. Wow. Did your parents help you overcome these kind of problems or...? Or it was like pretty much on your own, like you know that you've got to grow up and, you know, no, overcome I mean, all your fears. My parents were busy doing, were doing their thing. They were uh, providing us, me and my brother, a place to live and, and sending us to school. They did a pretty good job, I think. Yeah, yeah. So your brother didn't kind of go along the same route as you uh, in this street performance and actually not street performance, it's world performance because you're traveling around the world. No, my brother is an engineer. Okay, so very different from yeah. what you're pursuing. Yeah. Now, you know what? You really stand out because first of all, you're tall. You're apparently 183 centimeters tall. But on top of that, you know, you're very fit and you've, you've got to shave this. This is like your signature, the shaved head. I guess Was so. that all part of the image that you want to project to people? Um, I think, uh, yeah, I think it is. I don't really, I shave my head mostly when I have to, um, uh, when I have to go work. If I'm not working, I just, sometimes my hair can grow out. Sometimes I do. Oh, really? Do different things with it. But okay. It's kind of, it looks very clean. I think it looks good for the, the stage. Because you know what, this, this thing about your shaved head and just the image you project, once people see you once, they can't forget you. And you probably don't know what impression you're making on, on people, on the public. You know, they, they might not know your name, but they know that, oh, they've seen you somewhere. Yeah, I think I'm very easy to recognize. Yeah. So, so you start off in Ximinding, and that, how did you decide you were going to I like Ximinding a lot. Yeah. I, um, uh, the reason I stopped going to Ximinding was because they, uh, they repaved the floor there. And the floor became... Makes it a little harder for you to perform. It became not so suitable for what I was doing. Yeah. And then I kind of bounced around a little bit and, and I thought the floor and the people were, were good over there in the Xingyi district. Oh, good. I mean, good choice. I like, yeah, I like that space now. Yeah, yeah. I still like, um, uh, I still like the, um, uh, the rawness of Ximinding, though. There's something... Oh. There's more... This may sound kind of strange, but there's, there's kind of a lot of crazy people in Ximinding. <laughs> and you don't know what's going to happen exactly. Sometimes all sorts of crazy things might happen there. Yeah. It's more of an adventure. Yeah. What, what generally are the audience um, impression, um, their reaction? What has been the most um, you know, unforgettable reaction from some audience you've had before? Um... It's mostly when people um, come to me after the show and uh, one thing I remember very much was 
sometimes people are asking me when I'm going to be there next, and I can't really tell them oh. s- s- concretely because I can tell them if I definitely won't be there because next week I'm going to be in Mongolia or something like that. But if I'm not going to, if I'm going to be in Taipei next week, I don't know what the weather is going to be like that day. Yeah. And I don't know what that space is going to be like that day because oftentimes they, they have events there in that space. And it's difficult to find out what's happening there before it's actually you go there, you see they're setting up a big stage and don't know what's going to happen. So um, uh, this one man, he was he's always asking me because he wanted to bring his father up from Kaohsiung. And I said, well, I don't know. You're just going to have to try and see. And, and he came two weeks later and said, oh, I brought my dad up last time and we were looking for you and you weren't here. And I apologized to him. And it kind of went like that for quite a while. And then one day he brought his father there. And this, this man was probably in his 30s. His father was in his 50s. Uh-huh. And they, um, uh, they, were, they were watching the show squatting on the ground like, like kids. Yeah. And I thought it was something, it was really, uh, the, there's something special there. Like they had, yeah. his father had kind of the same, it was very, very interesting for him. It was, and it was the same kind of wonder that, that kids have. I think it's yeah. kind of special. Yeah, I mean, just the sound of it, it seems like they know how to appreciate mm-hmm. what you're doing. They, they know how to appreciate this form of art. That, that probably your performers pulled their relationship close together. Or maybe they already had a pretty good relationship and then you pulled it closer. Yeah, I think he really, the, the son really knew what kind of thing his father would really enjoy. Wow. And I thought it was really, uh, it was really nice. It was very enjoyable yeah. for me as well. That's very rare to have that kind of, you know, father-son relationship that you know what your father would appreciate. That yeah, really is rare. I don't know if I would be able to... With your father? I don't know where I would take my dad. I, you know, I, would, I would take my yeah. dad to some place that I like. And he would probably do the same thing to me, but we like very different things. What are kind of places that you like? Oh, kind of getting on the subject here, but that's okay. Um, I don't know. I like... Um, uh, I like capoeira. I like to see, I mean, I don't know. Interacting with people? Yeah. In, a, in, you know, in something that you're happy doing with together? I can see a few things that my father and I would like. Yeah? Maybe. Kind of, I remember when, we were, when I was a kid, I would like to go to the, uh, they kind of have those science museums for kids. Yeah. And there's lots of stuff you can touch. Right. We have, uh, I've got a nephew, my dad's grandson, and I think he's not old enough yet to go to that kind of place, but maybe in a couple of years. Right. Oh, wow. So did you ever get to do that with your dad? One of yeah, those kind of she, science museums? Yeah. I think, I think he took us there when we were a kid. There's a place in New Jersey called Liberty Science Center. Mm-hmm. They have a very big, um, uh, expanding, I think it's called a, it's like a buckyball. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what that is. It's like a geodesic dome that can, has the ability to expand and contract. They have toys based on that now, I saw. Oh, okay. All right. So, why juggling? Yeah, how did it all start it? 